Hello friends, I stepped outside of my studio today and we are in Boulder, Colorado. Boulders. <laughs> I was born and raised in Colorado, but this is only my second time actually exploring Boulder. I'd say Boulder is known for its like outdoor nature scene. There's lots of hiking, skiing, everyone here is just really outdoorsy. It's also definitely known for its college campus. Usually I spend all day inside my studio making art and making orders for my small business, but today I really wanted to get out of downtown Denver and into a more mountainy, cutesy city. I feel like I'm in Gilmore Girls. Like I feel like I'm in Stars Hollow right now. I really want to explore some independent bookstores with you guys. We're gonna go to three different spots and it wouldn't be a YouTube video without some sort of challenge. My challenge for myself is to buy at least one thing to support a small artist or a local author. Before we go into the bookstores though, I want to talk a little bit about our sponsor, which is Beekeepers Naturals. This is possibly the cutest sponsorship I've ever done. This is their Propolis Immune Support Throat Spray and it's so perfect, it's so portable, I can fit it in my bag and basically it helps to boost your immune system every day, especially when I'm in a crowded place like this. <laughs> if you don't know what Propolis is, it is the bodyguard of the beehive. Bees use it to line up their hive to keep germs out. Propolis has tons of vitamins like vitamin B, C, and D. It has antioxidants and zinc. What I love about this brand is that it's third-party tested and made with clean ingredients free from artificial preservatives and colorants. They work with small farmers and the hives are not over harvested. I've personally been using Propolis products for many, many years now and it always makes me feel better whenever my throat feels a little scratchy. I just use Propolis and it helps me right away. So I'm so happy to be working with this brand. Thank you so much, Beekeepers Naturals, for sponsoring this video. This is our first stop. This is the Boulder Bookstore. Out of the three places we're going today, this is actually the one that I've been to before and it is my favorite bookstore in the whole wide world. Let's go in. So we are in the Boulder bookstore. What I love about independent bookstores and this bookstore in particular is the sheer amount of wall space they dedicate to recommended books by their employees or people in the community. This whole wall is just filled with recommendations and I love how descriptive everyone is. This book is a ride, so buckle up. They're playing the Lord of the Rings soundtrack in here. <laughs> We are here and we still have to go all the way up here. We were just in the travel section of the bookstore and Brendan was saying how it's always the least favorite part of a bookstore. But what's so interesting is back in the day when you had to go to a new country, you had to get a travel book. And I just think that's so interesting. Now we're gonna go upstairs, which is my favorite part of the bookstore. So this is the ballroom. This is where a lot of the literary fiction and YA novels are. Their selection is just amazing. I think last time I was here, I accidentally came out with like $90 worth of books. And I think I've already found something by local artists that I wanna buy, but I'm gonna keep everything I buy today a secret until the end of the video. You just kind of abandoned me. <laughs> no, I thought it was funny because you're like, he just left. <laughs> Usually Brendan follows me everywhere like a puppy, but he kind of just wandered off because he was so enamored by this place. I hope you guys liked the Boulder bookstore. It's definitely by far the largest one we're going to visit today. I think it's a, the biggest bookstore that I've personally ever been to, other than Powell's, which is in Portland. And that's just an, a huge bookstore in itself. Um, but now we're heading on to a smaller bookstore slash cafe, which my friend frequents often. Thank you, Bella, for the recommendation. I'm really excited for this one. Cool. Well, let's pretend we stay just friends. Would you find some other? 
Look how we the night ends What you gonna do about it? Tell you what, tell you what Let's forget about it You've got enough fancy friends And a way about you So here we are at the Trident. Like I said earlier, it's a bookstore, but it's also a coffee shop and it's also a bar. I'd say Boulder Bookstore is a little closer to a Barnes and Noble. It has all the books in every genre and every new release that you would expect. But I think here at this bookstore, it's a little more community oriented. They host tons of events and they have music artists and they have like chess club night. It's like a true third place. This is my first time here and I was expecting it to be a lot smaller, but it's actually huge. Like there's the inside coffee space, but there's also this huge like sunroom area and then there's an outdoor seating patio as well so there's tons of space for people to work and it's tuesday afternoon i was expecting it to be not that busy but there's so many people here chatting with friends working on their laptops working on homework i'd say it's a good mix of like full-grown adults and students alike yeah it just feels so cozy and warm here definitely a really good spot to be Okay, so here we are at our last stop. Uh, this is technically a stationary store, but I wanted to go here because it's sort of bookish adjacent. I know so many bookish people who love stationery too. So I wanted to go in here for the first time as well. Apparently, National Pencil Day is Sunday, March 31st. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Look at all these specialty pencils. They have so much ribbon. After a long day of walking around in the cold, before we went home, we decided to get lunch. We came across this ramen place called Dragonfly Noodle on Pearl Street, and it was the perfect thing to warm our bellies up. They even make their noodles in-house, which was so cool to see, and it was super, super yummy. That was really good. Really, really good. Also, I'm using the Satu lip tint, and nothing's coming off. Hi friends, so we're finally back home now. It's about three o'clock and it's really gloomy. So I'm really glad we went in the morning because it was just such a beautiful day. I'm in my comfy clothes and I have a little haul of books for you guys. So I sort of intended going to all these bookstores, intending to buy a ton of books all in one day. But as I was going through the bookstores, I sort of realized that like I already bought a lot of books just two weeks ago and I didn't have the urge to just buy more for the sake of it. I think there's a lot of discussion about over consumption of books right now which is so valid and i do want to encourage people to buy books like intentionally so without further ado these are all the books i got from the boulder bookstore two weeks ago i did end up unintentionally fulfilling my challenge which was to buy at least one book from a local author the book is called go as a river by shelly reed shelly reed is a fifth generation coloradan who lives with her family in the elk mountains of the western slope she was a senior lecturer at western colorado university for nearly three decades where she taught writing, literature, and environmental studies. And I'm actually a little more than halfway through already. Can you imagine going to college and finding out your professor has a best-selling book? <laughs> but this book is just so beautiful. You can definitely see the influence of nature on the author. I think she draws a lot of inspiration from Annie Dillard. I don't know if anyone else studied transcendentalism in high school, but it was one of my favorite subjects ever. The scenes of nature in this book are so beautiful, so breathtaking, and also the plot is just so, so very sad, which is exactly my cup of tea. I love it so far. So that is the first book I got from the Boulder bookstore. The second book I actually got because my fam recommended it, and 
and this is probably the most popular self-help book of all time. It's Atomic Habits. And I've actually started reading this one as well. It's really good. It lives up to the hype. The only other self-help book I've read is The Artist Way. And that one is really good for focusing on creativity and your creative rut. But if you are just in a life rut, this book is amazing. And it's truly inspiring to see the results you get from just changing something very, very small. The third book I got was The Wind Up Bird Chronicle. This is actually a book that my friend Bella chose for me. I've never read a book by Murakami before, but from my understanding, he is a cult favorite. Um, so I'm really excited for this. I really don't know anything about this book, but according to the back, it's one of Murakami's most acclaimed and beloved novels. So I'm really excited to read this. And then this is the book that I showed you guys in the bookstore today. It is The Sympathizer by Viet Thanh Nguyen. I've been trying to read more books by Vietnamese authors, and this is also a very critically acclaimed book. The main character is a communist double agent, a half French, half Vietnamese army captain who comes to America after the fall of Saigon. And while he's building a new life with Vietnamese refugees in Los Angeles, he's reporting back to the communists in Vietnam. They're actually turning this into an HBO Max show, which I know will be so good because Robert Downey Jr. is in it. So I really, really want to read this book before the show comes out. And I think this book is actually going to be an old cover because this was only nine dollars when i got it which was very very exciting but yeah that is my little haul i hope you guys like this video this is sort of my debut into the book vlogging world but as you can see i've slowly been starting my reading collection i've always been an avid reader but life sort of got in the way and now i'm in a place in my life where i'm choosing to read again and it feels so so good even though i usually do small business art content i wanted to do more book content because i really am passionate about it and i want to be one of the people who helps create a more diverse space in the book community. I want to highlight Asian authors. I want to highlight BIPOC authors. I want to highlight authors from every part of the world. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over